OnePassword takes you one step closer to password safety. It offers a lot. So let's not waste time and start the OnePassword tutorial to rule them all. Naturally, you'll need a OnePassword subscription to follow along. If you don't have it yet, I've left my discount links in the description. Use them or scan the QR code on the screen to get a OnePassword plan and download the app. You can start with a 14-day free trial or grab a premium plan straight away. Learning how to use 1Password in 2024 is pretty straightforward. First, use the link below to download the app to your device and go through the initial setup. It's mostly just clicking Agree and Next. Confirm your email address and then create a strong master password. And make sure you keep it safe. You don't want to forget it. The same process applies to mobile apps. Grab them from app stores and create an account. All right, if you're on a desktop, you should see this dashboard. All the features of 1Password are neatly listed on the left. You get your passwords, favorites, the watchtower feature, and vaults down below. I'll cover more advanced features later on, but now let's focus on daily use. If you're on mobile, the design is a bit different, but the overall process stays the same. If you want to add a new item, simply click this button. I like that 1Password offers a lot of presets for everything from secure notes to crypto wallets. This customization makes managing all your data a bit easier. Based on the preset, fill in the information and save it to your vault. Autofilling is intuitive. When creating any account, a pop-up will appear asking whether you want to save this info. Once you do, when logging in, you'll be offered a selection of saved logins for this specific website. It's fast, and you can easily have multiple accounts without getting lost in what's where. The password generator is another tool for daily use. It's activated when creating an account, though there isn't a dedicated tab for it like the app itself, like what NordPass has. The generator itself is good. You can work with random passwords up to 100 characters long, or set up a custom mode that involves messing around with type, words, separators, capitalization, and more. By the way, 1Password uses the gold standard encryption to keep all your passwords secure. It implemented a zero-knowledge policy, meaning no one, not even 1Password employees, can access your data, and the list of different independent security audits is nothing to scoff at. My favorite feature is definitely vaults. If you click here, you can create different folders or vaults for your data and then share them with specific users. Maybe you have a work project and you want your colleagues to have certain logins. You just create a vault and share it. And it works even better if you want to manage and secure your family's online presence. To add one, click the plus button, name it, and optionally give it an icon and description. Then add items to it, just like the main folder. If you have multiple vaults, you can move items between them quickly. To modify a vault, for example, marking it as travel safe, go to the web app, find travel mode, and enable it. But what is travel mode? It's a unique 1Password feature that allows you to manage your security while on the go. Vaults can be configured to lock when you leave the country, minimizing the risk of sensitive data leaking where you definitely wouldn't want it to. So, what if you don't want to share entire vaults? Well, then select a specific item and you'll get a nifty little menu. In the sharing pop-up, you can set how long the link remains active, how many times it can be opened, and who can access it. While the mobile design is a bit different, the main process is the same. Next up, one tool I really like is 1Password's Watchtower. Basically, it scans all your passwords and evaluates how secure they are, giving you an overall score and showing you old or weak passwords. I love that it also informs you if websites have the 2FA or passkeys feature active. This way, you can improve your overall security very easily. If you don't know what passkeys are, it's a newly emerged alternative to passwords, and 1Password fully supports them. How do these work? You try to connect to a website, it sends you to a login challenge. Then you use a pin or biometrics to unlock your passkey vault and private key. The private key creates a signature, and the website verifies the private key with the public key. That sounded like a lot, but for you, it's just a few clicks, honestly making your daily work, especially research, much quicker. To set up passkeys, first go to a website where you want to log in. Note that not all websites support passkeys yet, but if a website does, when registering, the option to save the passkey should appear. Use your saved passkey method, and that's it. There are a few more things I want to cover in my 1Password guide, like privacy cards, which has less to do with passwords and more with your finances. Here, you can create privacy cards for every merchant. 
Then configure payment based on how much you want to spend and how often. Setting up limits so no one can accidentally jump up in price is especially helpful if you're subscribed to a lot of streamers or other web services. In the settings, you can find another small but useful security feature. If you enable auto-cleared clipboard, all the information that's been copied is erased once 90 seconds pass. It's a great little shield when working with sensitive info to not accidentally paste something you really shouldn't. So, moving from the 1Password Manager tutorial part, let's talk about pricing. 1Password is a nice middle ground compared to other industry leaders. Each plan also comes with a 1 gigabyte secure storage space for each user, and the family plan gives you the best value for your money. Again, to save as much as possible, don't forget to use the discount link below or the QR code on the screen. Look, a lot of us aren't spring chickens, and many of us will soon need to start thinking about subscriptions under the family setting. 1Password offers excellent and affordable tools for just that. With easily managed vaults and travel mode, you can protect your friends' and family's passwords, create specific vaults for kids, or share business logins with your other half. It also helps to check all passwords with Watchtower. Remember the terrible passwords we used to have as kids? It's good to keep an eye on them. Oh, and if your family is bigger, you're not strictly limited to five users. Simply add an extra user for just $1 a month. If you found this one password tutorial helpful, why not drop us a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. There you can find a full one password review if you still want more info. So by now, you should know exactly how to use one password for your daily needs. It's one of the best password manager options with lots of useful security features. All right, go and improve your security. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below with your questions, and I'll see you all later.